African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 14th of May, 2023. The armed forces of the Russian Federation have launched a long-range sea and air-based high-precision weaponry strike against armed forces of Ukraine units and the depots of Western munitions in Ternopol and Petropavlovka, Dnepropetrovsk region. The goal of the attack has been reached. All the assigned targets have been neutralized. In Kupan's direction, the attacks, launched by Operational Tactical and Army Aviation, as well as artillery of the Zapad group of forces, have resulted in the neutralization of the enemy manpower and hardware close to Kislovka, Timkovka, Berestovoy, Tabayevka, Kharkov region, and Stelmakovka, Lugansk People's Republic. Two Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups have been thwarted near Ivanovka and Vyreknia, Kharkov region. The enemy losses were over 100 Ukrainian servicemen, five motor vehicles, one D-20 howitzer, and one Rapper anti-tank gun. In Krasny Lyman direction, the attacks, launched by operational tactical and army aviation, as well as artillery and heavy flamethrower systems of the center group of forces, have resulted in the neutralization of armed forces of Ukraine units near Yampolovka and Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Chervanaya Dibrova, Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy losses were over 60 Ukrainian personnel, one armored fighting vehicle, two motor vehicles, and one Gvostika self-propelled artillery system. In Soldar Artyomov's direction, the assault units supported by the airborne troops units continued fighting for the western neighborhoods of Artyomovsk. The enemy made massive attempts to break through Russian troops' defense to the north and south parts of Artyomovsk in the past 24 hour. All the attacks of the armed forces of Ukraine, armed forces of Ukraine, have been repelled. There has been no breakthrough in the defense of Russian forces. The servicemen of the 4th and 200th Motorized Rifle Brigades and the 6th Motorized Rifle Division of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation showed courage and heroism in repulsing the enemy attacks. The units of the 4th Motorized Rifle Brigade have repulsed the attacks by Armed Forces of Ukraine Battalion Tactical Group to the south of Krasnoy, Donetsk People's Republic, as a result of which the enemy losses were around 200 servicemen killed and wounded. The commander of the 4th Motorized Rifle Brigade Colonel Vyacheslav Makarov led the battle while on the front line. Two enemy attacks have been repulsed. The brigade destroyed three tanks, four infantry fighting vehicles, and two armored vehicles. During the repulsion of the third attack, the brigade commander was seriously wounded and died while being evacuated from the battlefield. Deputy Army Corps Commander for Military and Political Work Colonel Yevgeny Bravko led the actions of the personnel while in another area to repel the enemy attacks. During the battle to repel one of the attacks, Colonel Yevgeny Bravko died heroically, suffering multiple shrapnel wounds. The military personnel of the 3rd Battalion of the 200th Motorized Rifle Brigade repelled six attacks to the east of Bogdanovka, Donetsk People's Republic, involving over 100 Ukrainian assault unit servicemen, seven tanks, 14 infantry fighting vehicles and other military and special purpose equipment. The enemy losses were seven tanks, 11 infantry fighting vehicles and over 50 Ukrainian servicemen. The 6th Division repulsed an attack by the enemy assault units supported by three tanks and four infantry fighting vehicles. The enemy losses were over 30 Ukrainian servicemen, two tanks, and three infantry fighting vehicles. In accordance with the decision of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation, distinguished Russian servicemen were presented with orders and other state awards directly at combat positions. Russian aviation have made 24 sorties in this area during the day. The group's artillery have performed 107 firing missions. In Soldar Artyomov's direction, in total the enemy losses were over 400 Ukrainian servicemen killed and wounded, 12 tanks, 18 infantry fighting vehicles, 2 armored fighting vehicles, as well as 1 D-20 howitzer. 
In South Donetsk and Zaporozhye directions, aviation, as well as artillery and heavy flamethrower systems of the Vostok group of forces inflicted a fire damage on the enemy units near Vadyanoi, Nikolskoy, Shevchenko, Veliky and Novosyolka, Donetsk People's Republic, Poltavka and Malayatokmachka, Zaporozhye region. One armed forces of Ukraine's sabotage and reconnaissance group has been destroyed near Sladkoy, Zaporozhye region. The enemy losses were over 120 Ukrainian servicemen, four motor vehicles, one Stabi howitzer, and one Gvostika self-propelled artillery system. In Kherson direction, the enemy losses were over 20 Ukrainian servicemen, six motor vehicles, and one Gvostika self-propelled artillery system. One ammunition depot of Kherson Ukrainian Army Group has been destroyed near Nikolaev. One U.S. manufactured and slash TPQ-36 counter-battery warfare radar has been destroyed near Tyajinka, Kherson region. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops, and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized 102 artillery units of the armed forces of Ukraine at their firing positions, manpower, and military hardware at 114 areas. One armed forces of Ukraine ammunition depot has been destroyed close to Khmelnytsky. In addition, armed forces of Ukraine 5th Assault and 44th Artillery Brigade's command and control posts have been hit close to Krasnoy, Donetsk People's Republic, and Priobrazenka, Zaporizhzhia region. Fighter aviation of Russian aerospace forces have shot down one armed forces of Ukraine's Su-27 aircraft near Novogradovka, Donetsk People's Republic. Air defense facilities have shot down six projectiles launched by a Mars MLRS. In addition, air defense facilities have intercepted 18 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been shot down close to Golaya Pristan, Kherson region, Kirilovka, Spornoi, Veseloi, Yampolovka, Donetsk People's Republic, Novo Aleksandrovka, Abratnovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Petrovka, and Zavnyavoy, Kharkov region. In total, 425 airplanes, 231 helicopters, 4,135 unmanned aerial vehicles, 421 air defense missile systems, 9,159 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,100 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 4,813 field artillery guns and mortars, as well as 10,193 units of special military vehicles have been destroyed since the beginning of the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.